Some students are having a difficult time determining when aggregate supply and aggregate demand will shift. This short tutorial will help you with 3.02, 3.03, and 3.05. Now when you actually draw an aggregate demand, aggregate supply graph, you know we've already learned that we have price level and our GDP on the axes. Sorry about the labels. And we have aggregate supply upsloping, just like supply was, and aggregate demand downsloping. Aggregate supply is changed by three things. Uh, resource cost, government intervention, and basically productivity. I think we call that um, uh, political in, uh, and environmental things that uh, phenomena. Aggregate demand is much easier. It changes when there's a change in consumer spending, investment spending, government spending, or if we look at net exports, which is exports minus imports. Basically the same things that change aggregate demand or change GDP. Let's start with a, looking at a change in aggregate supply. For example, let's say that re resource costs increase. If resource costs increase, that means the cost of production will um, increase, which will cause aggregate supply to shift to the left. If resource costs decrease, we would see aggregate supply shift to the right. If we have an increase in business taxes, that would cause aggregate supply to shift to the left. A subsidy would cause aggregate supply to shift to the right. If workers are more productive, we'll see aggregate supply shift to the right. So basically, any of those things, resource costs, government intervention, productivity, um, and when we talk about environmental, it could be that uh, we have a particularly long growing season. Well, that is actually going to increase productivity. So in the lesson, it gives you some very specific things that affect each of those. Let's look at de aggregate demand. Suppose that we see the government decreases personal taxes. If the government decreases personal taxes, aggregate demand would increase. Um, let's say investment spending decreases. We would see a decrease in aggregate demand. If government spending increases, we would see an increase in aggregate demand. If exports increase, we'll see an increase in aggregate demand. If imports de in, uh, increase, we'll see a decrease in aggregate demand. Those are the things that shift aggregate demand and aggregate supply. There is a separate video on 3.05 that shows you how to draw your graphs, but this basically just tells you what causes the changes in aggregate supply and aggregate demand. Hope you have a great day.